working for you. This is 13 News at 5. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Abney. And I'm Rob Macko. Two Huntington firefighters have tested positive for coronavirus. Now, throughout the day, the city and firefighters union have been discussing the current situation. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis has been monitoring those talks. She joins us now live from fire station number one with more information on that. Natalie, what did you find out? Jennifer, city officials released a statement late today confirming that two city firefighters have come down with COVID-19. Those officials are saying the city is working closely with a local firefighters union to make sure no emergency services are affected. There have been multiple reports across social media since Sunday night that the Huntington Fire Department had been hit heavily by COVID-19. Today, that was confirmed. The city says the first firefighter tested positive Friday, the second Monday morning, issuing only a written statement and not taking any questions. The city says the department is working to, quote, ensure that the proper individuals are quarantined and tested in a timely manner. Mayor Steve Williams added in the statement his administration and the local International Association of Firefighters, the union representing the department, are working to make sure the department is staffed sufficiently to protect the lives and property of city residents. While we know that there are two confirmed cases, what we don't know is how many other firefighters they came into contact to. But as you just saw, the city's assuring everybody that they're being tested. Reporting in Huntington, I'm Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. All right, Natalie, thanks so much. We'll